Our final speaker this morning is Chris. And Chris hasn't been with us that long, but boy, he's on the fast tra- track <laughs> because this is speech number 10 that he's giving to us today. So he, this will be the completion of the Competent Communicator Manual. Yay! Wow. Mm-hmm. Yay! <laughs>
He also had a vision about civil rights. We love Kennedy, not because he had a lot of character flaws, yes. But what inspires people about John Kennedy? His vision for people. Ask not what you can do, but what you can do for your country. Right off the bat, he gave the country a huge vision of what they could do. And people were inspired. People were empowered. And he's still rated as one of the greatest presidents of the United States, although he had a relatively short reign as president. So why do we love Martin Luther King? He had a vision that people could live in harmony of different races. There's Martin Luther King Day. He embodied that vision. <coughs> the second thing is E, and that is engage and develop. When you're a leader, you have to pick your team. You have to know carefully their strengths and weaknesses. You want to maximize your strengths and minimize your weaknesses. There's some people that are not going to be other types of people. You can put a round object into a square hole. So you have to be able to evaluate people and choose the right people for the right jobs. But you've also got to emphasize development, training. You got to set boundaries. Fixing problems is much harder than choosing the right people because it means you lost revenue, you <coughs> lost experience. You have to spend time training. And so in that time, you lose production of an experienced person. It's better to find the right person at the very beginning than to try to fire that person and then hire someone else because it also affects the morale. Finally, R stands for reinvent. <coughs> what I mean by that, you got to constantly be improving yourself. Who's mentoring you in your life? Rob, who's mentoring you in your job? Who's mentoring you in your relationships? <laughs> who's coaching you? What are you reading? I'm listening to Jack Canfield. He really talks about how most people don't have a lot of good self-esteem. We need to build people up. So I'm constantly reading, listening to something in my car, and I'm constantly looking for a good book. If I hear about a good book, guess what? I'm at Barnes and Noble to <laughs> find that book, the first one there. How about a personal development plan? Do you have a plan to develop yourself physically? Do you have a plan to develop yourself spiritually, character-wise? If you don't have one, then get one, because no one cares more about you than you. It's not going to happen by osmosis. You've got to have one implemented in place. Leaders are learners. People are, I usually will spend $100, $200, or buy a $50 book because what's the price of ignorance is much more than the price of education. Here's the thing you've got to be creative as a leader. Anyone ever heard the term? Below average people talk about other people, average people talk about things, and excellent people talk about ideas. It takes creativity to be a leader, to be a winner, to develop a good championship team. You've always got to be thinking about ideas. Stay away from people and things, because that's what average people, they watch people do things. They talk about things that other people did, but the real leaders are people who do it on, create that success, create those ideas. S stands for V, value, results, and relationships. Yes, you gotta have results. If you don't have results, you lose focus, you lose respect, you lose commitment. But people don't care what you know until they know what you care. So people, not only do you have to care about what they do while they're at the job, what they're doing, how about caring about things going on in their personal lives? Because that really shows how much you care about people. Invest time in people. Care deeply. Lastly, I'm talking about E stands for embody values. It has all to do with credibility. Do you walk the walk or do you talk the talk?
people don't do what you tell them to, they do what they see. You know, Chinese proverb says, if you tell me something, I'll forget it. If you show me, I'll remember it. But if I do it, then I understand it. So embody the values. So I want to just conclude is what kind of leader are you? Do you serve yourself or do you serve other people? That will have everything to do with the growth of your organization.